I love your home already, and I haven't even seen it. Does that sound crazy? It's not. When we improve our surroundings, we simultaneously empower ourselves, which means every inch of space within your reach right now is an opportunity to tell the story you want to be living. Tell me that's not its own kind of wonderful. I have spent the last 15 years consulting clients and their homes through the wisdom of feng shui, intentional design, and some crystal clear communication. And you know what happens when you bring those three together? Life-changing magic. Your home is already in a conversation with you, so why not learn how to merge that awareness with some simple, straightforward, and smart action to co-create the life you want? I'm Amanda Gibby-Peters, and I am here to help you learn how. Welcome to House Therapy. When it comes to topics that arrive in my inbox frequently, money is definitely on high rotation. Abundance has long been a popular dame around here. People always want to know the shui to woo her attention over to their table. So I'm going to share with you a few considerations for posturing you and your home for her arrival. But first, let's get into the less glam side of this because you got to know it for anything else to be cha changing. <laughs> All right, first up, keep your purse off the floor. This is as simple as showing your money respect. Organize the cash in your wallet so it's facing the same direction. Clean out the paper clutter, you know, the receipts, the grocery list, the coupons, what have you, and you'll have less quote unquote money spent chi holding court in your wallet. And if you can, keep a stash of cash in the wallet so you always have some on hand. Bottom line, show respect for your money and you will signal your ability to handle more. Speaking of money on hand, balance your accounts regularly. Repetition diminishes helplessness, so create a ritual around paying bills. What we appreciate appreciates, so don't underestimate this one money move because of its simplicity. If we want to like what we see, we got to get good at looking at it. Speaking at looking at what you've got, make it a ritual for acknowledging proofs of abundance in your life right now. Now, I know I've shared this one in a previous episode, so I won't walk you through it again, but the name of the game is Say Out Loud, Nine Positive Things You Can See from where you're sitting right now. And speaking of abundance, and this one's big, when something is offered to you, resist interrupting that flow of abundance, whether it's a compliment, a kind gesture, or some cheddar. One of my favorite responses I learned years ago at a retreat is to say, why, thank you. It is true. Now, In my world, I am, as you probably know, a forever fan of a little metaphorical magic, especially because it is so effective at blasting through energy blocks. So if working with one of the following wealth symbols resonates, please proceed. Acorns signify potential because a wee acorn becomes a giant oak tree. So if this one fancies you, gather a few outside or find some at a craft store Paint them gold and place them somewhere where they'll elevate your thinking to growing abundance. Ships on calm waters represent prosperity and smooth sailing. So rough waters, battleships, they're not going to quite denote the same vibe, so choose accordingly. By the way, last year I worked with this symbol with a client. She happened to have a small ship as decor in a guest room. So we loaded it up with crystals and coins to signify her abundance coming to the shore. And since we're talking about ships, let me go ahead and mention water. And in this conversation, more specifically, water imagery. Water 
water imagery can be a symbol of wealth in your home too. So this includes photography or paintings of rivers, waterfalls, oceans, lakes, you get the idea. The thing to know though is when it comes to working with the symbol of fortune, you want to make sure that the water flows into your home as this will represent wealth coming into your life. All right, one of my favorite symbols is Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of wealth and prosperity. So I was introduced to her early on in my Shui studies, and she was introduced to us as a symbol of female empowerment. You could take that a step further, financial autonomy. So she's often regaled in opulence. So if you do choose to incorporate her into your space, consider adding fresh flowers or some of your crystals or even draping some of your jewelry on her. I like to keep her dressed with my most favorite, and they happen to be my most expensive strand of prayer beads. Finally, a tree of life made from gemstones amplifies wealth and attracts abundance. So if this symbol resonates, place the tree with intention that you are open, willing, and ready to welcome financial abundance in all areas of your life. Now, one of my favorite shops for trees of life is karma and luck they have a fabulous selection and i've shared a special code just for you in the show notes all right now you know i love options so i want to wrap this episode with a few more of them including a few refreshers from previous conversations just so you are really ready to whistle a little more wealth energy your way so when we pair cinnamon with the front door We remove energetic blocks that prevent money. And I want you to think of that as like income, customers, possibilities. We prevent money from coming in. So cinnamon is essentially going to help wash away any sort of blockage. So there are two ways you can do this. One, you can dot the door with some oil, or you can stand outside the front door, even your office door, put a couple pinches in your hand of cinnamon, and then blow it toward and inside the door. Now, if you have pets, be mindful of this suggestion and maybe go for the dot of cinnamon oil on the door instead. All right. In this week's newsletter, which goes out on Fridays, I am talking all about Chinese coins, lucky coins, I Ching coins. So if you haven't signed up for that yet, here is a loving shove to head over to simpleshoy.com and make that happen. But for today, what I will say is whenever you're looking for money, you can place three of these lucky Chinese coins and you'll often find them strung together with red string, which is even better. You can place three of these coins in a red envelope and place it under your front door mat or under your computer. Either one will work and it'll suggest money walking into your life. A super popular ritual in the Shui Hive is to stoke all of your stove burners once a day. So what I typically see and hear from clients is that there's one favorite burner that's often used most of the time. And the rest of those burners, they sit there untouched, which symbolizes untapped prosperity. So don't let that happen to you. Really simple thing to do. Turn them on, all of them, for just a minute and then right back off and it totally works. And you know what else this actually helps too? Love connections. All right. Washing your floors with a basil wash is a wealth power move. So not only is this cleanse great for prepping your foundation for prosperity, but basil also creates a sympathetic vibration. It softens any sort of disagreeable energies that are around us, which then allows negativity to move along. And let me just say, this isn't just disagreements that are happening among or between the people in a home. This can also be the disagreeable energy you find yourself having inside your head. You know, some of that negative mental chatter. And since we're talking about floor washes, I got to tell you, a peer of mine just sent me a TikTok video of someone mopping their floors with a cinnamon wash. So I haven't tried it, but because I like options, I'm going to throw that one in here for you too. All right. Now, if you want, you can make 
the basil wash. All you got to do is get a generous handful of basil leaves, get some water in a pot, put it on the stovetop, turn that stovetop on. Ah, you're getting that little wealth ritual worked in here too. You're going to let the water come to a simmer, put that handful of basil leaves in, let that concoction go for about 10 minutes simmering, and then turn it off, let it cool, and you're ready to wash away any of that lingering bad luck. And listen, if you want, you can also go to Etsy and search Basil Wash. There are several of those shops and places that offer it over there. Okay, now when I'm doing the floors, one of the questions I get is, how do I clean my floors? I'm going to tell you, do what works best for you, but I like to start at the back of my home and work my way to the front. All right, we have one final tip for our combo today, and that is to fill a small bowl with uncooked rice, and you can bury three, six, or nine coins in the rice. Now, you can work with the Chinese lucky coins. You can work with whatever currency you have on hand. You're going to place this rice bowl in the wealth corner of your office. So where's your wealth corner? If I'm standing at the door to your office and I am looking into your office, it is going to be the far back left-hand corner of your office. So you're going to place the bowl there and set the intention that your wealth, which is more than money, right? It's the abundance of connections and network and opportunities. Set the intention that your wealth will grow. And the reason we work with rice is because it has been symbolic of prosperity for thousands of years, and it actually dates back to Shui's agrarian roots. So the idea was when harvest was plentiful, there was an abundance of food for the family. And if a family had plenty of food, they would be strong and healthy, which meant they could continue working and prospering. Okay, before I let you go, I got to give you one simple Shui note, and that is that whether you're listening to it here or scrolling on Instagram or flipping through a feng shui book, no shui tip is a shortcut. Money is not going to magically and instantly appear. Instead, what you can expect is opportunities will knock. And I often say that when the knock comes to the door, your response is do the work that shows up. Shui reliably triggers opportunity and lends a helping hand, but it does not do the work for you. So just remember that your effort is a necessary and required ingredient when working with any shui rituals. And if you want to learn even more ways to conjure prosperity chi, be sure to check out my course. It's there in the show notes. Whenever you're ready to enroll, I promise there's an abundance of ideas over there waiting for you. And just like that... It's another episode wrap. A million thanks for being here and listening today. And if you're not quite ready for this conversation to end, come find me on the gram. I'm at Amanda Gibby Peters or grab a copy of my book, Simple Shui for Every Day, available at Amazon and Bookshop and anywhere you get your books. And if you want to work with me, check out simpleshui.com for all the ways we can make that happen. Cheers to marvelous week, sweets, and I hope to see you back here in a week. Until then, give that house of yours some big love for me.